out, I thought I'd just do a little quick update vlog for you all. I'm now finally past all of my course. Um, so if you don't know, I was on the Foundations of General Practice course. This was a supposed to be a nine month course, but actually it was only seven months. And we had a, a whole portfolio that I showed you uh, with all our competencies and our assignment and stuff in it. A lot of things that had to be signed off um, and part of that was the smear testing as well so some of you might know I've just had my certificate back for my smear test so I've finally been officially signed off to train as a competent nurse and cervical screening so yeah I've just got to apply for my sample taker code now and away I go so I had my official results back. So the Foundations of General Practice Nursing is a level seven course, which is what is master's level. But this isn't an actual master's. It's just like a postgraduate course that I've done. Uh, but it's level seven master's. So I've done well to actually pass. But I did do a video at the time that I got my results last week. I did a little live video. Uh, my face kind of says it all. I'm secretly happy, but a little bit disappointed at the same time with my grade. But I have to remember it's a level seven course is a lot harder. So to get that, that percentage was actually quite good at the end of the day. I'm happy with it. Um, and at the end of the day, nobody asks for your grades anyway. So bear that in mind when you're getting your results back for assignments and exams. Nobody asks for your grades. It doesn't matter if you qualify with the first. It doesn't matter if you get a 2-1, 2-2, two, 2-3, two, 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 whatever. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, your blood, sweat and tears has gone into nursing and you have come out at the other end and you've qualified. That is the big step for you guys. So please forget the grades, forget the results. Be happy and proud of how far you've come. And I'm telling myself that now as well. <laughs> So here's the little live video coming up for you all on my results and yeah, sorry in advance. Okay, so I'm now in the car because my computer would not load. So I'm going to do it on my phone. <laughs> now I've got two phones, I can record it. Okay, now my instinct is I should have passed because I've done enough to pass. I'll be really angry if I haven't passed. Okay, dear Claire, please find attached your assignment feedback. Please note that this will be an unratified mark, which will be ratified next to a... What does that mean? I have no idea. We'll Google it after. Okay, loading. So, where's the result? So, that is all the feedback. Thank you for submitting your very interesting portfolio in these difficult circumstances. Thank you. 66% so it's a pass it's not the best mark but it's a pass so what did they break it down as part A I got 68% part B 64% okay suggestions from improvement continue your development of academic writing style um, check in text referencing by BP, BU referencing style and the occasional grammar issue. My grammar's not the best, let me tell you. <laughs> um, okay, so suggestions for improvement on the part B. Um, continue to work developing on your writing skills. I look forward to seeing your progress evidence could be further developed in some areas. <laughs> that is such crap feedback. But yeah, it's a pass, so I'm happy. <laughs> as you saw i wasn't too happy with my grade i was happy to pass though happy to get that course out the way and make room for other things that i'm gonna do because i'm, I'm non-stop obviously i've always got something on the go but i wasn't too happy with the feedback and it looks like the other girls on on my group they've got pretty much the exact same feedback as well on their forms so it seems like it's a copy and paste job across all the forms uh, which I'm not too happy about. So I'm going to email and just get a bit of extra feedback because it'd be nice to know where I can improve and how I can improve if there's something wrong in my writing style. Uh, what, where did they want me to expand in my competencies? So that is one thing, one chapter closed. I'm signed off. I'm a fully fledged practice nurse now. I've just uh, started my asthma and COPD training. I've already done two lessons actually, and I've got one more lesson left. There's three, it's like a three lesson course, if that makes sense and that gives you the foundations of asthma and copd 
uh, the basics basically so I can do the asthma and COPD reviews. To be honest, last week I had a meltdown after the last session uh, because everything, well the first session sorry, because everything was so overwhelming. They were giving me all this information and I was thinking this is way over my head, like this is ridiculous. The amount of information that I'm supposed to embed in my brain is absolutely insane don't know how i'm going to cope um and then to follow that the next day i had some patients that were really really hard to manage with the asthma and copd and then i had some smears that i couldn't get i had a really rough couple of days last week guys and i just wanted to go home curl up cry and forget the day but this is a new week we're on new challenges it's fresh new start and actually this week's been really really good um, I've had a really good week. My asthma and COPD patients have all been amazing. Um, and all of my smears have been spot on. So I'm ending this week on a high, guys. This week's been a good week, but the week before, not so good. It was a, uh, yeah, bit hit and miss, but I'm okay. I'm, I'm on it again this week. So some other things I'm doing, if you are a student at the Anglian Ruskin Universities, you may have seen some Instagram stories and things like that to say that you might see me around. And that is because next month in June, I'm going to be doing some guest teaching. Oh, I know. I'm so excited for this, guys. I'm so excited. Um, so I'm going to be doing some guest teaching all about primary care and case studies around primary care and what we do as primary care nurses. So I am dead excited. I think this is for the first year students. So if you're at Ruskin, Ruskin, uh, Anglian Ruskin University in the first year and you've got some primary care sessions coming up, I'm going to be doing some of them. So watch out for me. And this is something that I've wanted to do for a couple of years now, ever since probably the end of my second year, I think. I've started thinking about teaching and lecturing and doing that sort of thing. So this is where my passion is going to be lying because I love doing my YouTube vlogs. I love doing webinars. I love doing all these bits. I get so passionate about it. As some of you might see, if you've done my sexual health webinars, I love it. So... I'm going to be looking into doing some teaching as well in the future and some lecturing. Obviously, I'm not going to quit my job. I love practice nursing. I'm going to keep up my skills. Come on. But ideally, I would like to do a bit of both and, yeah, do some lecturing and teaching. So fingers crossed, guys. If your uni want me at your uni, get in touch. <laughs> I will come along and teach you whatever you want uh, within reason that I know. Um but yeah, I'm really, really excited for it. I can't wait. And I'm hoping that these sessions are going to go down a treat and you're going to learn something from me. Fingers crossed. But yeah, other than that, I've finished my course. I'm still doing my practice nurse and I'm still loving life. I've got some extra shifts with the uni. Um, I'm doing a lot for the GPN SNN. I'm still part of the student nurse project. I'm doing 101 different things around work. I'm tired. I need a week off. <laughs> I need a holiday. Probably next year by the time we get on holiday now, guys. There's no way I'm going on holiday this year with COVID and everything still lurking. But I do. I need a week off just to recharge these batteries because I'm starting to feel a little bit tired. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm very busy and I'm loving life. I'm still passionate about nursing and loving life. So, yeah, that is my update for this week can't think of anything else to update you all on other than i've been signed off everything so i'm really really happy but um yeah i'll probably stop filming and i'll upload this and it'll come to sunday and i'll be like oh i forgot to say this and i forgot to say this hopefully not hopefully i've told you everything i've updated it all but yeah let me know if there's anything you want me to cover in some vlogs if there's anything you want me to do talk more about please message below leave a comment whatever you want inbox me if you want to do it privately if you want me to do any vlogs just let me know and i shall try and do them but i'm also doing vlogs for nurses.co.uk and socialcare.co.uk as well if you haven't been over to their websites they're really really good they are job sites but they also have blogs and vlogs from nurses and um, other healthcare professionals they're really really good so go check them out as well but that is it from now. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend and I shall see you next week. <laughs>